My name is uh, John Thomas. I grew up in uh, White Oak, Oklahoma, in the uh, Cherokee Nation District. I come from a family of uh, 11 children. I went to school at uh, Oaks, Oklahoma, when I was in the second grade. And then uh, I stayed there approximately six years. Maybe it was longer than that. And then I went to uh, school at uh, Sequoia in the late 40s, early 50s. Uh, we made our own toys and we made our own games. And uh, we, also, we, we just played in the woods. And uh, uh, we, uh, it, during the spring, uh, we would put in our guards. We would help our, our family. Uh, uh, with our garden, garden, uh, we had everything that you could think of, you know, what you would put into a garden. And of course, as little guys, uh, uh, we were right out there with, with our mom and dad and their, everyone else. But when I went to school at Oaks, uh, uh, that, was, that was, was some very fun time and some very enjoyable time for me once I got used to it. Of course, once you, uh, as a young boy like that, you know, eight years old, you, of course, you know, you're uh, tore away from home, and uh, uh, after I got over that and uh, began to uh, uh, fit in with the uh, w with the uh, daily daily routines of uh, of Oaks, uh, it was it was a lot of fun. So we had some games, but uh, basically we were down on the creek banks and we were fishing and we were noodling, and uh, uh, we had uh, a lot of our a lot of young Cherokee boys there who. Uh, didn't know any English. Uh, this is some of some some of them. Uh, this is the first time they've ever seen uh, running water, even or even electricity. We had a big old television there, you know, and it, and that was amazing to a lot of us kids because we never seen television before. I remember when I was going to school at uh, Sequoia, uh, uh, we still had Home One, Home Two, and Home Three. It was fun at uh, going to school at Sequoia. Young guys like us, we was able to have uh, projects, uh, uh, farming projects. Uh, we had, we was able to raise ho our own little hog. They gave us a little pig, and uh, we would take care of them and raise them, and uh, 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 had fun with them. They got older, you know. The, uh, then we took them to the market, and uh, and we had money. Turkey Nation is full of uh, rocks. You know, you dig uh, two or three inches deep, and you you run into nothing but. Uh, uh, Flintstone. As kids, it's something that would never happen today. We got to use dynamite. We'd go in there and we used a jackhammer and we'd jackhammer down into the big stones and stuff that would be in our way, pack them with the dynamite and, and blow them to smithereens. We'd walk up and down the roads uh, uh, from Sequoia going in toward town and and uh, there was nothing there. There was nothing there it, and, and it's just uh, absolutely remarkable and satisfying to see how the Cherokee Nation and see how how far the Cherokee Nation has come since then since I was a little little guy running around here I remember how Oklahoma was when I was a little boy you know it wasn't uh, uh, there was a lot of prejudice in those days and uh, 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 in schools uh, we had long hair issues and uh, other things that uh, we were discriminated against. We couldn't wear our hair long. We couldn't do this. We couldn't do that. If we left home during the day, uh, we didn't come back until like, uh, you know, evening time. And we lived out there in the woods. Uh, we knew where uh, the apples were. We knew where uh, the berries. Uh, we would go fishing, catch our own fish. We would catch your own crawdads, uh, we'd eat out there. We'd eat, we'd live right out there in the woods like that as little kids, and uh, we enjoyed that. There was nothing uh, at the house for us. That was our uh, a fun house, and uh, we would try to uh, uh, catch pets, baby squirrels or raccoons or, or anything like that that we could, that we could find, and uh, uh, we'd take them home and, uh, and, and raise them. And, uh, and that, 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 would, that would be our, uh, our, our pets. And uh, we had raccoons, we had everything. We had squirrels like that, we had baby squirrels. We'd raise them and they'd run around our house and follow us around. And uh, we, of course we had dogs and, 
and uh, other animals and stuff like that, you know. But some of the old people then were probably, you know, uh, uh, come from the come from those medicine clans and medicine people, and they were powerful. And they knew things. They knew they knew how to uh, 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 doctor you and make you well. And uh, of, of course, there was also there was some um, uh, uh, scary things that would happen. Uh, anything to do with the spirit world sometimes is scary. Uh, even though it, even though we were always taught that it, it was not you was not to be afraid uh, of any kind of visit by uh, a, a relative that has, that has been gone. I see it in my lifetime. I could see people turn into uh, uh, other other things, a dog or whatever. You know, one of the uh, 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 greatest things that. Uh, we had back then was our was our elders was our older people and uh, uh, they would teach us and talk to us about uh, life uh, and and how to uh, how to conduct yourself how to have respect uh, how to uh, uh, walk gently on this earth 